Hello everyone, welcome back to Blackjack. I'm Blackjack Gaviani, and yeah, it's, uh, it's Saturday night. So, this went up on Wednesday, so you might say I'm a little late at getting around to reacting to Hisui and Snow Episode 3. I know there's Silene. I know there's Zisu. I know there's Silene and Zisu. And I also know there's apparently Silene and Laventon. However, I don't know anything about what happens with Alec or any of the characters we're supposed to be paying attention to in this short. So, uh, let's, but, yeah, sure, just, let's leave the, uh, let's leave the captions on. Why not? <laughs> Betty, Commodo. Thank you. <laughs> What's his face? You probably should have gotten a unique character sprite. The guy who runs the, uh... uh Alec. Father. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I was wondering what they were going to say happened with the dad. I moved here soon after you left home. It's been three years. What is it you've been up to? Can I stay here two or three days? It's not often we hear about no someone in the Alabaster Forest. leaving Hisui, you know? So you're still pretending to be a doctor? Pretending? That's not nice. Oh. He made it to the gate really fast. There she is. What is that? I don't know. And it's been appearing more and more often lately. What is happening in the fort? I wasn't expecting any of the game characters to have any dialogue. I thought they were all just going to be, injured. you know, silent. Ca Boy, you go break your ankle! Ah, well, Beeb. Can someone come help? Wait, you were not at a forest just a second ago. Quiet. Stay back. But it looks injured. We should help it. There are likely more injured Pokémon in the forest. Yeah. Will someone come? What reason do we have to help the Pokémon? Natural order? We can't even go into the forest because of them. That's right. It would be better for us if they were all gone. How did the humans in this world survive this long? <laughs> the security corps will go as well. What are you saying? We're not going out there to help Pokemon. However, there's something strange happening in the forest. Mm. We must go to ensure the safety of this village. <laughs> Silene has a way of getting what she wants, doesn't she? <laughs> Don't you have basic empathy, I sir? But I want to learn. To find out more. <laughs> you won't be able to walk in the snow with the shoes you have. I don't know. I get around in any of them. <laughs> Is that something else that makes our player character special? They can get around in whatever <laughs> their fool outfit they want. Aren't you scared? No. There's someone I want to see. <laughs> Think it'll be evolved by this point? There we go. Check that action out. <laughs> I 
you're doing it again. You're going off the path, and you know what happened last time. So what I have to wonder, because these seem strangely unrelated to the rift, and the rift Let's go. I don't think is open yet. Yeah, the, it's too early for that. But even in the games, once you close the rift, the space-time rifts keep happening. That's... It is an odd and very unexplained phenomenon. Same thing with the existence of alphas and all kinds of stuff. The game just does not They're explain a whole heck of a lot. It's too dangerous. Come back here. If you're in the rift, you're gonna get warped. Those things are gonna get warped out of existence for a second. Come back. What are you doing? <laughs> Look. Let me help them. Where did he go? He seems like he went to a region that isn't as hostile or something. I promise to take care of them. Alex. Ooh, there we go. You have a type advantage! Pokemon. Let's move. Unless, unless Zisu was the woman speaking off camera, then she hasn't said a word this entire time. <laughs> So we should take them to the village. We don't have the equipment. So is that thing gonna happen where they just blink out of existence for no reason? Well, yeah, oh, pushing out of the rift. Okay. There's two different things called rifts, and it's hard to talk about them. You know what I mean? Something's wrong. Let's go. All of you need to get out of here. No, we are not leaving you. Father. <laughs> Why does Alex's father not have a name? Come on, this way. Is Zisu the strangely high-voiced woman right there? advantage. Oh, I guess there is another woman with them. <laughs> hey kid, you have to become the world's first shiny hunter that we know of? Did he get hit by anything or did you just pass out from fright? Staring gormless eyes. I always have to keep checking to make sure it's still actually recording. Aww. Remember that time we fell out of the sky and somehow just landed, like, a little ways away? <laughs> mm. 
Nah. <laughs> what happened? An old friend. <laughs> friend. Yeah. Came to help me. <laughs> I don't understand why you feel the need to concern yourself with Pokemon. It's called the natural order, duh. Seriously, how did humans in this setting survive so but long? Maybe people and Pokemon can. So you make a living carving these things, but you've never cared for them at all? Come visit me. <laughs> well, it sounds like his place is right there. Why? He came for supplies and then immediately left? I also don't believe for... Ah, <laughs> He painted it all up for him. Or made him a new one, I'm not sure. But, um... <laughs> I don't believe for a second that at this point in time, when Jubilife is still extremely new, that they would have a ship that regularly. I mean, like, in the course of the game, it takes a very long time for a ship to show up. And even then, it's small, and there's like six people on it. And of course, I'm going to pause this uh, when we get there. Okay. Hang on, and I am going to... Okay, I've heard of Laura Post. Is Damon Mills the guy that just got into a whole bunch of shit? Uh, I'm, okay, I'm gonna switch to just me for a second. Uh, okay. Uh, Alexandra Yastashak. Okay, uh, she's in Beyblade. Uh, Kanasuba, uh, Vindictus, she's in Smite, and something called Shadowverse, and that is literally her entire bio on, uh, on, uh, IMDb. Interesting. Um, let's see here. Okay, I, I just want to look up if Damon Mills is the same guy that I've been hearing about lately. Ah, uh, yeah, actually he is. Uh, the, the new voice for Frieza. But yeah, Chris Hackney, Steve Kramer, Relic, and Father, who is completely uncredited. Um... I guess we don't know if Laura Post was uh, Zisu or the uh, the other. Oh wait, that's right. Okay. The... I heard people people are talking about a credit scene with Laventon. I I don't I don't understand this. People. We're talking about a credit scene with Leventon and Silene. Oh, well. Maybe that's... I don't know. Could be something else. I don't freaking know. I don't... I was trying to avoid spoilers. 
<laughs> so I, I, I guess the, oh the Japanese version shows that okay well I guess we're going to be watching the Japanese version then not the whole thing obviously uh, but we're just going to be skipping to the end credits come on come on I'm trying to go back in my history uh, far enough uh, come on okay. come on going back far enough okay we're gonna go back okay okay so we're gonna take a look at this yeah see the big rift isn't open yet wait <laughs> is oh my god is that adamant and my <laughs> Aww, <laughs> it's a little uh, crown thingy. <laughs> oh my god, he has like six different coats on. <laughs> Wait, this is a few years before, so he, sh he shouldn't have those with him. <laughs> uh, hey, but hey, you know what? That's, uh... We're finally seeing him without his hat outside of his stock art. What in the heck? There. For could Don't understand how that gets moved around. <laughs> oh, that's... Huh? Oh, it's just good ad for the game, huh? Yeah, we're gonna get the, the shiny, baneful fox mask. It's good for almost a year. Neat, neat, neat. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, this is to the website. Okay. I kind of feel like Alex's story could have been told a lot more succinctly. You know what I mean? I feel like it could have been... The first and second parts could have been combined. Which is funny because I wanted them to expand on this. To where had he gone? Was he studying medicine? Why was his father opposed to this? How the hell have humans survived for, you know, half a million years or whatever in this world? At this point, you, you know, the Colossian War was 3,000 years ago, okay? The timeline in this world is fucked. King Az has been out there for thousands of years already, wandering aimlessly, around the French countryside, or the not French countryside. I, <laughs> and they're still acting. Like humans and Pokemon interacting is something brand new and shocking. <sighs> you know, got the whole thing with um, the Steelhead faction is has been going on for well or at least was going on ah oh, what was the time frame on that when were the steelhead active um the whole thing from uh guardian signs uh when, when was that that's at least several hundred years before present day um <laughs> events of conquest provided they're not modern day in just a really really isolated region because they do mention things like pokeballs and they have computers and wind farms and mechanized factories and air travel and all that kind of stuff so i, th I... provided it's supposed to actually take place in the sengoku era 
as the characters involved would suggest, the, the events of Conquest are already centuries old by this point. And I know people don't count Conquest because it's a side game, but you should probably be counting the events of Ranger. So the events of Guardian Signs with the, the whole thing with the traveling the past and all that. And I say you should count Ranger because it connects in with the main series. There is a direct connectivity there. You know, but, you know, and all of this is child's play compared to, as I said, the Colossian War from 3,000 years ago. And then there was the Darkest Day, and that was, what, 1,000 years ago? Something like that? 2,000? It just, it feels like... I know they wanted Untamed Wilds, but the way they implemented it is just freaking bizarre. You know, you know what I mean? People who've played a lot of these games, you know what I'm talking about? <sighs> it's just kind of funny that everyone was talking about, oh, Silene and Zisu, Silene and Laventon, and no one was talking about Alec. I don't really think we had cause to care about Alec until this episode. It's like, he's... A hapless kid who gets lost in the woods, chases a shiny, falls off a cliff with the shiny, and Zorua just kind of, it gives him a leak, and, I don't know. His father is from somewhere in Hisui. He's, he doesn't seem to be affiliated with the clans, but Jubilife is brand new, and he moved to there three years ago, which would be right around the time that Jubilife started I thought at first they were saying he was the the guy that helps you with construction and crafting but he wasn't that guy really should have gotten a unique uh, a unique sprite instead he's just generic dude I mean even if he's not like an ancestor he still should have gotten something <laughs> uh, you know not everyone important needs to be an ancestor and <laughs> I, I kind of just want to tack on, not every ancestor needs to be a unique character. I mean, Yui wasn't. <laughs> Yui is just, you know, generic young woman. But she's Charon's ancestor. She's uh, Choi's wife and uh, Taohua's granddaughter. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, I think she's the only confirmed ancestor who doesn't have a unique sprite. I mean, I have my theories that Wanda might be Jupiter's ancestor. Um, the, but a lot of that is based on how the female guard's model looks like Jupiter already. <laughs> but I, th I think her specifically because of the way she latches onto you and calls you her savior. <laughs> uh. But, uh, you know, I, I've talked about that in my gameplay videos. I, I really need to learn how to edit, and then I need to edit that shit down to, like, where it's actually... Uh, the problem is, when I, if I actually do that, there's one crucial moment where I accidentally give misinformation because I misspeak. I'm talking about how Volo's team stacks up with Cynthia's team, and I said the wrong thing as far as uh, replacement, like what he swapped out. <laughs> um, but I say it right at the moment of the... I'm looking at the... I'm looking for anyone around in this way, even though there's just a wall here. <laughs> Because you know me, I, when does Blackjack 
give him a chance to do voice acting because it's right at the Garatina strike her down scene. It's not even my Volo voice. My Volo voice was like super smooth. And then it just, the cracks when he started losing it by the end. You know, you know if he thought about it for like just a minute, probably less than a minute, it probably would have occurred to him that hating us because Arceus liked us was fruitless and that we had greater reason to hate Arceus than he ever would. <laughs> so if anything, he should have played on that and actually allied himself with us and just really driven home the fact that, you know, Arceus is really kind of a dickhole taking you away from everything you ever loved, right? <laughs> Trust me. I have disliked Arceus as a supposed overarching deity long before that happened. I mean, once again, I played Conquest. I know what an asshole Arceus really is. Why do I say it Arceus instead of they try to push Arceus? Because this is they say it in Japanese and Arceus just doesn't sound right. Okay? I know otherwise it's the arse phone and not the arc phone. But you know what? That's what that butthole of a god deserves, right? <laughs> it let an entire region wage war over it established that it knew full well what humans were doing and did nothing to stop it because it just had to wait for someone to fill out the map. <laughs> uh. Remember a while ago, my ranting about it with uh, Death Battle because it was known that Beerus was going to be participating in the blood sports, but um, we didn't know who its opponent was, so Arceus was floated quite a bit. And uh, I was... <laughs> I was very much against that for one big reason. Because it might actually fucking win. And I feel like if it won, it would be because of false information. And now they do the whole thing of, oh, what you see is just a splinter of the true thing. It's like, yeah, the true thing. Still watch the Ransai region wage war for God knows how long and did absolutely nothing to intervene. The true form still watched the whole jewel of life thing play out and blamed all of humanity for one person being a dickwad and decided to take it out on the entire species. I don't care what kind of power you have to back that up. That That is a dick move, okay? <laughs> you might say that is an arse move. You'd think I'd want to say it that way, right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Okay, well, mm, I should go. I will, uh, I don't know. Do you think they're going to give us any information, um, regarding, because I noticed on the main English Pokemon channel, at least, they've been doing, like, a spotlight on the regions. They've been doing like just short videos about the regions. And I keep thinking it's going to lead up to a reveal for the name of the new Iberian region. But as we've already established, I have been wrong before. It is not often, but it has happened. <laughs> Dear Lord, I think I'm actually going to get into the card game again. I... Who even knows anymore?
because we all know if there is any applicable moral to the second movie, it's the card game will ruin your life. Until next time, I'm Blackjack Aviani, and I am facing down the barrel of imminent card-based debt. <laughs>